Howdy tubers! It's the dreaded regulator. Anybody who's running a starter generator on these older Briggs engines knows what this is. Um, oftentimes you get a tractor that's new to you, may have sat for a while, never know how long it has sat. I can conservatively say that 80% of the time when I get a tractor, get it running, and it's not charging, the problem is in here. Now I'm going to show you guys a quick little trip, trick rather, not trip, we're going to take a trip, <laughs> quick little trick on what you can do to see if the regulator is good or not, real quick and dirty and anybody can do it quite easy. And I've got my first ex-wife chatting with me on my phone. She's going to have to wait just a minute so I can get through this video. And uh, you guys may notice um, I got myself a new tripod. It's called a tabletop tripod and it allows me to get up close and personal without having to stumble over a really big obnoxious tripod like this one sitting here on the floor so I'm really excited about having this tripod all right now what we've got quite simply is three poles each of these three poles has contacts on them not so dissimilar to points in fact very much like points. So what do you do? You start your engine, rev it up, no charge. A lot of people instantly think, ah, starter generator's bad, I'm screwed. Or then they troubleshoot the starter generator and they're like, alright, well it's not the starter generator, regulator's bad, I gotta get a new one. Well there's some things that you can do, look at and check on a regulator to uh, determine its overall condition. One, all right, that's an old case, but look at how nice the inside is. No signs of water or moisture getting in there. That's a very good sign for these old regulators. And this is a really old one with the adjustable screws, adjustable thumb screws up here. And you've also got some adjustments back here. Do not adjust anything. You're not going to adjust anything here at all. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All you're going to do is clean those contact points. Okay. Now, this one will be closed. These two, or excuse me, this one will be open. These two will be closed. And if you gingerly pull up on them I'm sorry it's the plate itself that moves my bad you see how that each of those plates moves down okay all you're gonna do you're gonna look for oxidizing in here and there is none on this I mean this is an old regulator another thing you're gonna do is look at your resistors on the bottom to see what kind of shape they're in they're underneath look how nice okay you got this ceramic rod and it's got a coil of wire wrapped around it it's just a resistor that's all these are okay so those look good come back up top this is your grounding side as you can see you've got two rivets here when you clamp that down that'll ground the body that completes your circuit this side it insulates all right so how do we clean them oh it's really really easy get some abrasive paper okay the finer the better this here is 600 grit and you're just going to take them just like you would clean oxidization off of a set of uh, contact points for your engine you're going to take insert the paper in between the contact points and on this particular one, press and pull. You see that white? Now this was one that I just took off. 
that was not charging and I know it'll charge after I'm done doing this like I said conservatively 80% of my charging problems are right here in the regulator again press drag and you want to drag as many times as it takes I pressed on that and I heard a little crack. Hopefully I didn't screw that insulator up. Okay. You want to drag as many times as it takes to get this color. You can see how obvious that is. It just wipes right off of the abrasive paper. Wipe it off and keep pressing and keep pulling until the majority of that comes off fairly clean and clear may take six, seven, eight, nine, ten pulls, however many it takes until you're down to, all right, see, I just pulled that through and you can barely see where I drug that through. That contact point is now clean. Now we're going to come over to the next one, do the same thing on all of them. Now on these, they have spring tension on them, so that makes it a little nicer. You can take and just wiggle that paper back and forth. And that one is pretty clean to begin with. A little bit on the back, so I'm going to wipe that off. And you can also, if you want, go to a different section of your paper. Again, press down, insert, lather, rinse, repeat. And you do this process on all three of your contact points. Oh, I heard that one. That one was stuck. and just sorry for the squeaking got the chalkboard fingernails on the chalkboard thing going on there there we go we are really clean there so before you get out the big hammer and decide you're going to start sledging on everything because nothing's working right for you, give that a try. Just take a little bit of abrasive paper, take the cover off, don't be afraid of it. Go ahead and take the regulator off and make it easier for you to work on it on the uh, Simplicities now as Chalmers because they're mounted against what I would call the firewall, uh, against the engine and the blower housings in the way. So take it off. You got three 7 16 uh, bolts. Pop them out, or they're quarter 20 bolts, 7 16 uh, wrench takes them off. Take it off, <clears throat> disconnect, and then another thing you want to do is come down to your terminals, take your terminal screws out, move them off, and I've already done this here, you can see how it's shined up. Just take either a little bit, excuse me, a little bit of abrasive paper. We'll go over it or wire brush and clean those contact points up also and do the same thing with your wires uh, the wires that you pull off of here and another uh, good idea um, so that you're sure you get the wires back in the same place um, take two small pieces of masking tape put one on this end and one on the other connecting end and then mark it with a one 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 on either do the same thing on each terminal. That way, when you go to put everything back together, one goes to one, two goes to two, three goes to three, you're free and clear. Then, after you get done doing that, you have one more step that you have to do to get this regulator ready to do its job. And you have to polarize it. Well, what's polarizing? Well, essentially, you're shocking these coils into obeying your every command, <laughs> essentially in layman's terms. Uh, you're setting these coils and getting these coils ready to take a charge and to operate the way they're supposed to operate. Okay. Um, when your battery is fully charged these will bounce back and forth very very quickly and throw the charge into the larger coils so that you don't overcharge your battery. Uh, it just dissipates. Just throws the throws that electricity away. It's gone throws the charge away. 
Um, so what you're doing when you get everything put back together is you have to touch your battery terminal to your generator terminal. Just take a loop of wire, touch the two together. There will be a spark and your starter generator may turn over when you do that. Oftentimes I'd say well about the same about 80% of the time starter generator is going to crank over. It doesn't crank over with full speed because it's going through both the coils to go to the starter generator and it's also going through the charging side instead of the starter side so two separate poles in the starter generator uh, one creates one delivers one creates electricity one delivers electricity so touch them together for about a second you're gonna see a spark here don't worry about that that's normal you're not gonna get shocked after you get done doing that starter up if you don't have an ammeter on you can take a multimeter put a multimeter on your battery terminal here and just go to a negative right here where the negative contact is on this and check your reading if it's above a standard of I'd say 12.8 or so up to 13 possibly 14 14.4 uh, is usually what these are set for max you're charging you're back in the game so I hope that this was comprehensive enough uh, explanatory enough and gives um, a lot of people hope uh, for new life on their regulators and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and tell your friends that there's this crazy guy on YouTube that likes to shell out a bunch of these goofy videos. So that's what I got. Y'all have a good day, good afternoon, a good evening. Zippo, later. I'm out.